Hey everyone, welcome to the series of Linklist. In this series, we'll talk about every aspect of Linklist. Let's start. In this video, we'll talk about what is Linklist, how we can implement Linklist, and what are the terms of Linklist, like what are the architecture of Linklist. Let's start. So, as you can see in my screen, we have one data portion and we have one next address portion so what is this data and what is this next address so at first talk about that linked list is a which type of data structure linked list is a linear data structure as we know that array is also a linear data structure but linked list has its own properties so linked list is a per node memory allocation at the end of the video i'll talk about this point again then it will be more clear to you but let me go through the point at first linked list is a per node memory allocation in array what you have to do you have to allocate the block of the memory at one time but in linked list we will allocate the memory dynamically and will allocate the memory node wise so we allocate that much of memory that we need so there is no wastage of memory let's say that we need 10 blocks we'll keep on adding 10 blocks up to 10 so this is how we can allocate the memory per node so till now i haven't talked about what is not we'll also talk about node in this video but you just know that linked list is a per node memory allocation and every node we have two parts one is data and other one is address so whenever we are trying to declare a node within a linked list it has two parts one is data and other one is address so this address portion this next address portion will store the address for the next node now the most important portion of the linked list is your head pointer you have to access every node using the head pointer so what is head pointer i'll talk about that in the next slide and the last node of the linked list so the next address of the last node of the linked list will be null that's a termination point for the linked list but it's not applicable for the circular linked list or doubly linked list but it's applicable for the singly and doubly linked list so the last address of the node will be null so this is one of the important portion that you have to remember that the last node address will be null like this portion will be null and operations are easier in linked list so in array when you are trying to insert anything within the array what you have to do you have to make a shifting right but in linked list that process is much more easier than your add so the operations are easier and efficient and it's a non-contiguous memory allocation in array what happened let's say that the first address of the array is thousand the next address must be thousand twenty two or thousand twenty four let's say that the next address will be thousand twenty four then the next address will be thousand twenty eight this is how the memory allocation goes in array but in linked list that is non-contiguous you can collapse or merge to linked list but you cannot collapse or merge to add it because that's a static memory you cannot expand that right so linked list is a non-contiguous memory allocation now the last but not the least point that is linked list executes in runtime you will allocate the node that you need so whenever you are trying to allocate the memory this memory it will be allocated in the runtime you don't need to define an array in the compile time so whenever you are declaring any nodes it will be created in the runtime now we'll see that what is the node in a linked list so as i said that it has two part one is data part this one is data part and other one is next address part so how we can create this data type we need a structure for this so let's say that we'll declare a structure within structure it has two portion one is data and other one is address and this the type of this address will be the structure itself so it will store the address of a structure block so this is how we can define i'm not talking about the code we'll talk about the code in the next video but in this video you have to clarify your concept let's clear your concept at first now so whenever we have declared or created this node it has some its own memory so what will be the memory let's say that fff0 now let's say that we'll allocate another memory so let's say that we have allocated another memory and we have put a data that is 200 now this node also has some let's 
remove this thing okay now let's say that this node also has some address so what is the address let's say that the address of this node is fff2 now how we can merge or link these two nodes so what we have to do for that we have to store this node address at the last of the first node so we'll store the address or this address over here so this is how we can link two nodes so now we can say that this node let me remove all these things this node is pointing to this node this is how we can link two nodes and if we look at a memory then we can allocate a node here it will point here until we are inserting any node the last address of the node will be null so why the last address will be null for the termination point we need a termination point right otherwise it will go on the infinite loop now let's talk about the head pointer so the first address of the node is fff0 right now we have to store this fff0 somewhere that we can access this block so we have to store let's say that head we have a pointer that is let's say head h so we have to store this address into the head pointer so what will be the type of the head pointer it will be node because we cannot store this structure or this node address into an in pointer the data type of the head pointer must be same we cannot store this address into a in type pointer so the data type of this head pointer will be the type of the structure we'll clarify this thing more into our code now so you can tell me one thing that why we cannot store this address over here we can store this address over here but in linked list you cannot go back right if you start traversing from here how can you access this portion so that's a conflict so we have to store the address of the first node here so during the accessing we'll at first we'll go to this node and in this node we'll get this portion that is fff2 then we'll start traversing this node and it will go on like this so i have cleared my screen let's say that within h we have fff0 when we start accessing that then at first we'll go to this block and the next address of this block will be fff2 then we'll keep on accessing this node we have null here then we'll terminate the accessing but if it don't have null here then we'll keep on accessing the nodes so this is how the linked list works so as of now we have discussed that what is the significance of head node and how we can link two or multiple nodes so now we'll see a diagram that uh yeah so the first one is add a so what is the drawback of add a that we have to allocate let's say that arr 100 so we have to allocate the static number of blocks so if we allocate this add a let's say that this is the array of 8 we have written 8 here we cannot expand this array but in linked list we can add n number of blocks or we can add as much of block we want so now this is the difference between array and linked list that in array we cannot expand that but in linked list we can add as much of node we want and we can say that in array we may have some vestige of memory but in linked list we don't have any vestige of memory so we will allocate the node as per our requirement so you can ask me one question that how many blocks or nodes we can allocate in a linked list we can allocate n numbers of or infinite number of node in a linked list so but it has some parameter it depends on the memory but we can add as much of node we want so we can say one thing that linked list is infinitely finite so why i'm saying that infinitely finite because we can add as much of node we want but it has some parameter like it depends on the system memory or anything so this is what the benefit of using linked list over array we can add as much of node we want so let me go to the first slide again yeah so in this slide the first point was li linked list is a linear data structure that is we have discussed and it's a per node memory allocation that we have also discussed that how we can allocate per node memory in a linked list for every node for inserting every node we have to allocate a memory it has two part one is data and address it has a head pointer what is the significance of head pointer i have already discussed last node address will be null what is the last node address that that's a termination point 
uh, operations are easier and efficient so this portion i will talk about briefly in the insertion portion Link list is a non-contiguous memory allocation and it executes in the runtime. So I think these portions are cleared. I think the basic concepts of linked list are clear to you. If you have any doubt, just write in the comment section. In the next video, we'll see that how we can code a linked list or how we can create our first block in a linked list. See you in the next video.